Hey guys. All content discussed in this channel is due diligence gathered with aim at better understanding the nature of the current market in anticipation of the greatest squeeze in financial history. Let's dive in. Big news for GameStop today. After shareholders met to vote on five approvals, GameStop shareholders approved all items on the meeting, including the proposal that allows the board to execute a stock split at their discretion. Let me quickly break down all the proposals. The fist one was to elect six directors which will serve as members of the board of directors until the next annual meeting of stockholders. The second proposal that got approved was to approve the GameStop Corporation 2022 incentive plan. The third proposal was to provide an advisory, non-binding vote on the compensation of the company's named executive officers. The fourth approved proposal was to ratify the audit committee's appointment of Deloitte & Touch as independent registered public accounting firm in 2023 and lastly, the fifth approved proposal was the amendment to increase the number of authorized shares of class a common stock to 1 million shares. The vast majority of shareholders voted in favor of all proposals, so now we are going to wait until GameStop announced their intent to exercise their power to issue more shares. I am extremely excited for the future of GameStop. Though yesterday's earnings were mixed, I remain extremely bullish on where it's going. GameStop is betting big on crypto and I believe with the edge that they have granted by their collaboration with other companies like Immutable X and Loopring, their marketplace will stand out high and above the rest. I want to take a moment and bring attention to one of the most criminal acts that have happened in recent weeks that nobody is talking about. Jamie Dimon, JP Morgan CEO and longtime crook, is engaging in extreme market manipulation. He understands that what he says has an extreme effect on the stock market and on millions of investors. If you have been watching this channel for a month or so, you will remember me quoting some of the statements he made, which had significant impact on how stocks traded. Four weeks ago, this parasite was hyping up the economy, talking about how strong it is and how it can withstand anything thrown at it because the fundamentals are strong. Four weeks later, he has switched his narrative to one that is extremely bearish. He is scaring investors and telling them to brace for a hurricane because of the Fed tightening and war in Ukraine, things that aren't new at all and that he knew months ago. So why did he suddenly switch out of nowhere? Easy, because he needed to deleverage his assets. You see, he was pumping up the market while he and his cronies were working hard in the back repackaging junk assets, making sure they hold only the best assets and ensure selling all the junk to retail, private equity and some hedge funds. He needed the markets to remain strong under the false impression of safety. Now that he repackaged, it's in his best interest to now say a hurricane is coming, because when the rest of the market goes down, everything is on sale for him and his friends. The clowns at the SEC have been pumping up these so-called educational videos, targeting meme stock investors and poking fun at them for not doing their homework on due diligence on the stocks they invest in. They sole attention seems to be laser-focused on retail investors while big money corrupts every corner of the market yet again. They know a huge event is coming and are actively preparing for it by taking quick action so that they are safe and so that they can further take home a bigger portion of the pie. The consolidation of wealth in this country at the top 1% is beyond barbaric and the SEC continues to help drive their agendas and narratives while stumping on the powerless retail investors. Keep this in mind and more importantly, keep a close eye on Jamie Dimon, for the man is engaging in nefarious market manipulation to get away rich for his part in screwing America and the rest of the world as well. Stocks bounced up today, another day of fake pumping into assets. It's a back and forth pattern on the day to day from what I am seeing. Investors are pessimistic but stocks trade completely opposite to sentiment. Let's talk about today. The Fed submitted over $1.985 trillion in reverse repo operations today. Dark pool trades for AMC accounted for 61% of the total volume today, while dark pool trades for GameStop accounted 58% of the total volume today. AMC had a bullish day, gaining over 3%. It opened to a quick dip before bouncing back strong, reaching 13.50. After a second failed attempt at breaking over this resistance point, AMC dipped and closed at 13.30. GameStop had a bullish day, gaining over 10% for the day. After a quick dip in the open, GameStop bounced strong from 116 to 136. It slightly dipped at the end, closing at 134. Come and join my Discord for more content, the link will be down in the video description. Thank you again for being a part of this channel, I will continue striving for better content. Enjoy the rest of your day, keep on buying the dip and to the moon.